Hello, this is an impromptu live. Let's see if I can make sure the comments are working. Well, we'll see, hopefully. As soon as you um, sign on, just say hello so I know the comments are working. Um, so I wanted to come on and talk today because I don't know if you ever have this happen, but I have, sometimes I have no ideas and I'm stuck. And then sometimes I have too many ideas and I'm stuck. Like, I kid you not, I literally today was like, oh, I wanna do some more still life. Uh, or I wanna do like a really bold, clean, modern style painting in the sketchbook. And then, um, no, I wanna do something really loose where the colors are all bleeding and it's really juicy and then uh, you really should get that email newsletter out, Suzanne. <laughs> the next email newsletter is going to be on, you know, the visit to my parents and my mother's beautiful garden, and it's like half done. But and then I'm like, I've got so many sketchbooks that are just started, and so I'm just like a, I, you know, and I've tried. I sometimes I get good at planning and setting goals, and you know, like do this and and but I just thought uh, maybe there are other that you could relate to this and I mean I'm, it's a really wonderful problem to have it's not even a problem I just thought it was kind of funny and I also have noticed that I have this habit of starting sketchbooks like that shelf there well they're not all there but th those are sketchbooks and a lot of them are full I will say but most of them are not. So, and I don't know about you, but I haven't had, I'm like, I'm not, I don't have, like, I start out, I do have one sketchbook that has one theme, but I sometimes start out thinking, okay, this one's gonna be florals. And then I grab it when I'm thinking of an abstract or something else and it goes in another direction and <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of, so like today, I I made this, um, yeah, tell me if you're, uh, maybe I should look on my computer because sometimes the comments apply, appear separately on another device, which is weird. I don't want to be able to answer any questions. Yeah, so any questions, please ask away. I don't even know what this topic is, except it's this feeling of, you know, productivity versus creativity, yada, yada. So anyway, I made this sketchbook out of that deckle ditch paper that I've done some paintings on. And the, again, I, this is like typical. I've got a couple of spreads and that's it. And then I, so yeah, let me move on. I will, this is a Coptic stitch. So if you have any questions about that, there are lots of videos on, on YouTube and I kind of modified it, but I love how this, this cotton paper feels. It's almost like painting on fabric, but this cover, boring. So <clears throat> maybe I'll flip you around and we'll, make this cover much more exciting because it is putting me to sleep, which is, that might be why I've left this sketchbook alone. <laughs> now, if I had made like um, that the cover or even that. Um, oh, I did finish this sketchbook though. This is one of the handbook watercolor and it's almost finished because I've got one that I started in here that is not, yeah, that's not done, but so we could play with that too. I just thought I'd kind of do a painting sesh with you, answer any questions. I'm gonna go over here to the computer and take you with me to see if the comments are showing up there to make sure, because I wanna start doing more of these. Um, lives and Sometimes the technology is just not there. Okay. 
So good, I see myself there. All right, so let me give you a little studio tour first because you guys had asked for that and then maybe we'll do some painting. Let me take you off my camera stand and turn you around. Okay, so this, okay, so I've got some stuff on the wall here that's in different, um, stages of doneness. Most of it's done, but some of it's not. And then like this pot experiment here that <laughs> I did that a few months ago and I haven't done anything with it. Um, just an abstract there that I'm playing with. This painting is not mine. It is Justin Schull. I just love the color. Look at the blue shadows and the yellow light in that painting. I love it. Um, and then my bookshelf. So I do love books. I would have twice as many if I didn't, or maybe three times if I didn't control myself. And I am gonna do a YouTube at some point on, and pick out a few of these and go through them so you can see them and decide if you like any of them. Like some of my favorites, this is, like I said, my sketchbook shelf, which has some of the larger ones on this side that I've made, and a lot of them are in the living room. Um, this is a blue bottle I just got recently at a thrift shop because I want to do more still life. I want to do some still life classes. And I love this cobalt blue. And of course, you know, when you put something in a still life, you can make it any color you want, as you know. Here's some more books. Um, and... The sort of brushes and paints, I guess, on that shelf. This is a new paint, I've been new to me, that I've been playing with. It's vinyl. What attracted me, it's called La Franc Bourgeois. Um, what attracted me is that it's flat and matte, and you know I like that. So the jury's still out on that. I will, I will um, let you know. I'm sorry comments aren't showing up. If you have questions, just ask and I can always answer at the end of the live. Um, here I've got some colored pencils and Tombow markers. This is, this is a type of gouache, regular gouache called Royal Talons. Got some little Liquitex, little baby, not Liquitex, golden um, fluids. And then that's that really yummy Golden Soul Flat, matte acrylic. Got some mediums there. And these are the, the um, Thule markers. And then my Posca markers. Some more paint. Smaller pads of paper here. And we, aren't, we don't need to look inside the cabinets. It's, mm, you know, stuff. Here on my table, I've got the Nova acrylics, kind of my go-to stuff, and my acro gouache. And I've been, lately, my table gets so cluttered that I end up not even wanting to paint at it, which is kind of ironic. So I'm trying to keep it a little less cluttered so that I want to sit down and paint at it. Um, and I had a double cart like this, but I, I wanted one that fit under my desk, my table. So I found this one recently on Amazon, and it's got the six drawers, and it holds all the the whole vein, whoops, sorry, I didn't, the whole vein, I've got it kind of, and then regular gouache, um, oh, I put some golden and Liquitex acrylics in there, the Turner Avril gouache, what's in here, oh, the regular Turner gouache, that's what I actually started with way back, well, way back, five years ago, I guess, my first class is like Joyful Bouquet and all that were the Turner. And then watercolors here. And um, if you haven't seen a studio tour before, this follows me around. I got it on Ikea. It's got, um, it's a great, you know, just like I put categories. Let me see here. So I have work on first, which means these are ones that are on their way to being done. I have almost done ready to list originals. Um, needs work, I guess, beginning keepers. Usually those are 
paintings that I don't want to sell, which gets too, too many, or class-related to scan and make prints, which I haven't gotten to. And my computer setup. So I think that's kind of the, in the closet I have the collage stuff that I was getting into and that um, is starting to call to me again. Um, bigger pads of paper, more paint, technical or kind of equipment there for filming and stuff. And then my setup here is these two arm lights with the phone holding arm that I'm going to put you in now and the microphone that obviously is not plugged in right now, but I use for classes. And um, all right, so let me go ahead and put this in. And we will start painting. I'm just gonna make this more fun. And I'm gonna check over here in the comments and see if, if they're coming through yet. No, oh well. Okay, so let's see here. I was looking through like some inspiration for this and I found um, this in my sketchbook and thought I'd do a version of just, you know, I don't know, some colorful, fun things on top of this and see what happens. Got some paints. I just grabbed a pile of colors. We'll make some colors. And I'll just get uh, late, uh, more and more I use flats instead of rounds. It depends on what I'm painting, of course, but for something loose like this, uh, maybe even a larger one. All right, so let's see. I really want to go for vibrant. And um, I don't like, usually I don't use um, a color just out of the tube, even if I just had a tiny bit of something else. That's going to be bright because I added a, this pink aqua wash, which is basically fluorescent. And this paper, this deckled edge paper, um, is, as I said, it's pure cotton and so it's very absorbent. I'm just going to basically almost ignore this tree. Mm, maybe that's enough of that. What else? I can take this in a yellow direction. Let's grab some Indian yellow from Nova. I had to put it in this container because I can't remember why. Maybe the container broke or something. All right, we're gonna tone that down a tiny bit. I, I want bright, but it can't all be screaming bright. And you can mix um, acrylic, aqua gouache, gouache, all, all the things. Not oil, that's, that's in a whole different thing, but we really don't use oil. And in my classes. Um, so that was, um, I'm just trying to use this up. I love this color, green gold, but this is the tiniest bit in there and I'm just trying to use up what's left. This is a little less boring, isn't it?
So what's fun to do in something like this is, is fight, you know, the brain's wanting to make sense and say, well, what is this flower doing floating up here and, and this one's on the ground and how can that be? And my brain does that, you know, and that's the part that I just say, just, it's okay. <laughs> At least I try, I say, you'll be all right. <laughs> um, I heard a quote or read it actually, I was reading about, I don't know if you know the artist, Helen Dardick, if you don't, look her up, Helen Dardick, she's British, and her stuff is so, it's it's illustration, um, but it's animals, and the colors are wild, and it's super fun, um, you know, probably in some ways I was going to say kid-like, like in a kid's room, but it's just, she is fearless with subject matter and color and loves like little girls and animals. And anyway, just, it's hard to describe. Just look at it and you'll, you'll see what I mean. But I read that she had um, in, a, in a live class, uh, someone who attended wrote a little newsletter on how that was. And there was something that really struck me that Helen said in that workshop when she was showing them what she does, she said, you don't owe anything to anyone. And I, you know how you hear something sometimes, it just goes bang into your heart. And, you know, when I had to read more to understand the context, and what she was saying is, when, when you decide to make a purple horse like she does, or a, a flower floating in the sky, and one, like you don't, Oh, an explanation. There's, there's. You, you can do whatever you want. Basically, you don't, don't, you know, don't feel that you. Um, I don't know. It just hit me like, uh, yeah, I don't. And so that was, you know, powerful for me. And so I want to share it. You know, when we're creating, we don't. There's that voice going. Well, this, this doesn't make sense or this doesn't look good here or whatever it's saying and um this is just another way of saying who says you have to things have to make sense or or any anything be explainable like it like if somebody says people who are very literal might say well why is that that you know why is why why is that tree pink or whatever and we don't because I wanted it to be. That's literally can be our explanation because that's what I wanted. Period. As my daughter says, she's 26. <laughs> when I say something that she wants to emphasize or when she says something, it, I guess it's a thing to go. Period. And, and final. So, yeah. We can do what we want. We can make a pink tree because we want to. And by the way, I need to do a video on this too. I think I have on the faux artist movement. Um, F-A-U-V-E. Matisse was part of that. Terrain. I've done, I've talked about it in some classes, but this is not like a new idea, this kind of freedom of color and um, subject matter and do what you want. Um, free yourself. I mean, obviously, you know, Dali, plenty of famous artists um, <laughs> have created all kinds of things. So I don't know why we need reminding or why I do and seems like others. Like if there's plenty of evidence out there that art really does not have to have anything to do with what we're seeing in reality. And yet I find that I have to remind myself. So um, just playing here with oil pastel and Maybe just trying to get some color down. Um, this is less boring. This color has really been calling to me lately. So let's put a little of that in here. Mm. Ah. I mean, how yummy is that? Mm. 
That's not to say that to, for a successful painting, which I'm not, I'm not saying that's what this is, that's not the point of this, that we don't have to pay attention to value and composition and, and all that. I, I don't mean we can slap anything down and it's going to look good, but when it comes to color, subject matter, when the brain is, is wanting to go, well, I, I don't think that works or, or I, you know, that, that logically doesn't make sense for you to have, you know, purple blobs like this back in what's the sky, we can just, those are the things we can, especially in a sketchbook, we're playing, we're experimenting. So we can say, thank you, but no thank you. Um, speaking of values, I do need a little bit of darker in this. Um, different ways to do that. Here's a, a gold, that didn't come up much darker. Let's see, it could just be a little bit like this. Maybe some, this is my indigo colored pencil by Derwent Antique Ink Tents. Um, you guys know I love indigo or navy for my dark. And so I've got like four different types of indigo pencils and this one I like because it's not too blue. It probably just looks black, but oh, maybe we will do some random leaves up here. So yeah, I don't have a plan, just playing. I'd like to do these lives more and then I can put them on YouTube too if you miss them on Facebook. Just check my YouTube channel. Well, that's less boring. All right, um, what else should we work on? Maybe I should do some random flowers here. So the way I stitched this was this, not exactly a saddle stitch, it's more of a Coptic and it comes over into the page a little bit. So if I did it again, I would, I think I did that. So you see a little bit of the thread and it doesn't lay completely flat. So if I do it again, I think I will Google the saddle, the saddle stitch and do it that way. But, I mean, because it's a flexible paper, it is kind of laying flat. All right, let's just do some random flower blobs. I don't like to waste paint, and um, I've already got these colors out, and that's what ends up starting a lot of my spreads. And, you know, if you haven't done it yet where you force yourself to work with a timer or just move quickly like this i highly recommend it the impulse to overthink is uh, hampered by this let's see what else has been happening i've been planting like crazy there, there, when we moved into this house, there really weren't many plants. You know, you can't have that. Gotta go with my... This is basically opera pink, which I talk about a lot. So, it, it's, it's more, but it's more fluorescent -y. Um, Gonna add something to that, too. Here, let's add some vermilion. A tad. Vermilion's a warm red. And maybe some green to tone it down. Just a reminder if you haven't to sign up for my email newsletter that I 
This is kind of funny. It's supposed it was was gonna be a weekly newsletter a couple of years ago, and then it became every other week, and then once a month, and now I'm lucky if I get one out. It's probably about once a month. But the next one I will just go to my website, SuzanneEller.com. The next one will be about my mom's garden and some pictures and it's pretty amazing her garden. I'm gonna put some dots of upper pink because because I can. Maybe that should be the theme to this video. We don't owe, artistically speaking, we don't, and maybe otherwise, maybe life, life speaking, we don't owe anybody anything. But I like it artistically. It just gives you a freedom. Let's add some oil pastel, because I, you can tell the colors you like, right? Because they're the shorter ones. This is yummy. And, Maybe some stems, sort of. I've talked about these mongil before, um, and they're they're on my um, supply list on my website at suzanneeller.com. They're the the least expensive, highest quality, usually least expensive means, you know, not so good quality. This has been the exception. They're so juicy and I've had them for, it's got to be two years. And since I love buying art supplies, I'm, you know, I would, be, I would buy more, but I don't need to. Let's do some what else? I really wish I could. See your comments and questions. I'm going to try one more time. Hmm. No, all I'm getting is Facebook is so crazy. <laughs> it doesn't even show, I don't know if you know this, but in the Facebook group, which is my Facebook group, it doesn't even um, post most of the content I put out to you guys. Um, like it just buries it in the algorithm, which is crazy, right? I mean, it's, it is a free, service so I, I get it they they have the right to earn but like if i'm moderating the group and i want to share something with you guys say hello to me they should show that to you but they don't unless i have a really like juicy art picture and i don't like to fill up the student facebook group with my art because it's for you guys it's for your art and for you to or, you know, anyway, I'm struggling with, if you have any ideas on a better avenue for building community, because I love connecting with all of you, and I do what I can on Facebook and on YouTube, but some of those other venues like Patreon, I've looked into, and they just, I don't know, I think they seem kind of cumbersome to use. I mean, I've been, I'm a member of some other people's Patreons, but they also take charge quite a bit. So then, like, what's the point? Um, 
and I'm just kind of running into the limitations of Facebook and really want to, to have more of a sense of community and be able to connect more easily with you guys and, you know, drop a quick video in and show you something or talk about something like I did today without, you know, just making it easier. So open to ideas. I've looked at uh, a service called Mighty Network, but again, I don't know, it's, it has limitations. I don't normally use this much oil pastel, but they're sitting here and um, why not? I'm going to throw in some this horizon blue. I think this is a new color I got, but we're going to have to add something to it. It's just the thing. I have to add something. Maybe a bit of yellow to take it in a and let's add a bit of this, each one. It's kind of a peach color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, so maybe I could commit to filling this little handmade sketchbook by, <laughs> I'm going to give myself a lot of room <laughs> since I have so many sketchbooks and projects and, um, in fact, um, uh, I don't know if this is going to be a big reveal of a, of, I'm going to do a live painting session with another artist that many of you know. This is kind of a teaser. We're working out the details, so I won't say yet, but it's going to be fun. All right, back to this. I'm going to commit to filling this by the end of the year. That's giving me plenty of room. We're traveling. We're going to Portugal in, well, May 20th. So I cannot wait. I am going to definitely do some classes around that trip because we're going to have, you know, I want to see the pottery and the landscapes and you know I'm going to be taking a gazillion pictures. All right, I want to use something a little bit darker, like a Burgundy. No, that's not. That's not. Deep magenta. Let's see what that's. I got some new colors from Holbein and I, I mean, I bought them. They didn't give them to me or anything. Um, yeah, I just wanted to play with, you know how colors just draw you sometimes? This burgundy has been drawing me, so I just took that deep magenta and added a bit of that orange that I had. Oh yeah, that's very yummy. I like that better before. I do want this magenta somewhere, but all right, well, that's been some fun. My hand is like not stopping. <laughs> okay, we're stopping. That was fun.
Thanks for joining me. And just if you did have questions or comments, just post them and I'll, I'll um, see them once the replay is over or once the live is over. I hope you enjoy and happy creating.